experiment. And they believe God and tremble. But genuine faith produces compassion. Therefore, if our faith is real and not a fake faith, it will be evident in times of helping the needy and the weak. Let me give you a quick example in Luke chapter 16. The story between the rich man and, and Lazarus. Right? Do you know the story? Yes. Come to think of it. The Bible says that Lazarus, the beggar, the poor man, doon lang po siya nakatira sa harapan ng bahay ng mayaman. Do you think makikita siya ng mayaman? Yes. yes. Do you think napapansin siya ng mayaman? Yes. May ginagawa pa siya? Yung mayaman mo may ginagawa para kay Lazarus? Wala. And we all know the story. When they both died, Lazarus was ushered by the angels sa paradise. When the rich man na walang pangalan, he went to hell. Kung bakit yun po yung trato niya doon sa, sa beggar na si Lazarus, because he has no relationship with God at all. Do you get the point? Hindi man lang lang mabigyan ng konting pagkain, hindi man lang mabigyan ng konting tubig si Lazarus, right? Mas mabuti pa yung aso ng mayaman na papakain niya. Pero yung mahirap, yung pulupi na nasa harapan mismo ng kanyang tahanan, ay wala po siyang pakinlam, wala siyang, hindi niya pinapansin. Let me give you some quick scriptures um, about this. No? This is what the Bible says. If anyone is poor among you, among your fellow Israelites, sabi po ng Panginoon sa Bible Israel, in any of the towns of the, of the land the Lord your God has given you, do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted toward them. Rather, be open-handed and freely lend them whatever they need. Then it goes on by saying, verse 10 to 11, Give generously to them and do so without a grudging heart. Then, because of this, Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in everything you put your hand to. There will always be poor people in the land. Therefore, I command you to be open-handed towards your fellow Israelites who are poor and needy in your land. Look at the promise of God in Psalm chapter 41. Uh, yeah, Psalm chapter 41, verse 1. The Bible says, Blessed is he that considereth the poor, the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Lahat po ng poor, makita sa kamay. Lahat po ng pay, makita sa kamay. Poor pay. Like that, that is it. But take note of this. Now, blessed is he that you see the poor, the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Do you consider the poor around you? We can easily say, Hallelujah, praise God, bring our Bibles with us, sing songs of praise and worship. But what about if there are poor people around you? Do you consider them? Do you pray for them? Do you help them? Do you extend your hand upon them? Sabi nga po ni Martin Luther, pag ikaw ay kumuha po ng isang buhangin sa palad mo, tapos kinlose mo yung fist mo, tapos pag binuksan mo, may matitira o wala? Meron, meron pa rin, konti lang. Right? Pero pag kumuha ka ng, ng buhangin sa palad mo, sa kamay mo, tapos hindi mo siya inaya, hindi mo siya kinlose, malalagay mo pa ba ng konti? Right?
nagbibigay ka ng tip. Pag nagpakata ka ng gas, nagbibigay ka ng tip sa gas boy. No? Pati sa mga barker, sa mga call center boy, nagbibigay ka ng tip. Ba't ka magbigay ng bigay ng tip? No? Sabi ko sa mga anak ko, una na, sabi ko first, mabigyan ko sa'yo ng konting tip, iba yung niti niya. Tama? Yeah. Iba yung sa'yo niya. Kaya pag sa gas station ko sa kabila, kung nakita na nila ako, Who understands 
and who knows the sovereignty of God. Lord, I don't know what's going on. My, my, my own flesh and blood, my own son, rebels against me. But one thing for sure, I will not focus on my situation. I will find my affection, my focus on you. God, you are my desire. God, you are my delight. And God, you are my, you are my defense. As a genuine believer, we have new affections toward God. You are not in a new religion. Christianity is a love relationship with God. Christianity is basically intimacy with God. Okay? And, and, and don't ever think, don't ever think that God is just a thought. Because He's not. Because a lot of people uh, look at God as a thought. No, kaya kanya mo kaisipan yan patungkol sa Diyos, pero pare-pareho lang ang pupuntahan. Kasi nasabi ng iba, well, uh, si Jesus, si Buddha, si Jesus, si Jose Rizal, si Jesus, si kung ganito, si mga religion. Pero, isa lang ang patutunguhan niya. But the truth of the matter, Jesus is the creator God. And there is none like Him. And every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. To the glory of God the Father. Okay? It's all, about, it's all about God. It's all about our knowledge of God. A genuine believer will have a new affection for Jesus Christ. That God is not just a thought to Him. God is not just what? A trust fund. Do you, do you get my point? Sometimes we treat God as a trust fund. Na para bang may patago ka lagi sa Diyos. Na pag may problema ka, Lord, I need your blessing. Lord, prosper me. God is not just a thought. He's not just a trust fund. Worse, sometimes we treat God as a thing. Ito ang Diyos ko. Hinulma ng mga kamay ng tao. Hilagay sa, sa damit at sa, sa kwelyo. At pag madilim, nagliliwanag. It's, it's not a thought, it's not a thing, it's not a trust fund. Trust fund. Our God is the only true God, and there is none like Him. Amen? Amen. He's the creator of heavens and earth. Kaya ano mga problema dumarating dumar dumar siya, ano mga problema dinaanap ko ni David, sabi niya, I will not focus on my problem, I will focus on my God. I'll say it once again. I will not focus on my problem, I will focus on my God. Because if you focus on your problem, you'll get depressed, you'll get confused, but if you'll focus on God, you'll find hope. Amen. You'll find peace. You'll find strength. You'll find courage. You'll say, God, this is my problem, but you are bigger than my problem. Lord, this is my difficulty, but Lord, you are faithful. You will save me. You will save me, Lord, because you are faithful. That's our confidence. The faithfulness of our living God. Amen. Psalms 37 verse 4. Once again. Sabi ng, sabi ni David, sabi na, Delight yourself in the Lord and He will, and give, he will you give you the, desire of the desires the desires of your heart. Conditional ba? Conditional? Okay, what's the condition? You delight yourself in the Lord and then He will give you the desires of your heart. Think for a while. There is nothing too hard from the giver. Okay? Nothing is impossible before God. He says, you delight. You find your joy. You find your satisfaction. And you know, in the Lord. And He will give you the desires of your heart. Quickly, I'll, I'll tell this story. Who knows potato corner? Raise your hand. Potato? Potato corner. Who loves potato corner? <laughs> <laughs> potato corner. Ano yun? Ano yun? 